So let's talk about some of those regulatory changes that are coming. And can you just help us understand how's the impact going to be on the post-acute space? Yeah, I mean, obviously no one has a crystal ball and, and no one knows exactly what's going to happen. I do think that one of the trends right now, at least in the hospice space, 98, 99% of hospice is still paid for by Medicare. And, and that's great, right? Because most folks, either if they are elderly or if they have an advanced disease or disability, do qualify for Medicare. But one of the things that has been talked about is potentially the shift to having more commercial payers pay for hospice based on some changes that may come from a regulatory or government standpoint, or just based on the direction that the country is moving. So I think that opens up a, a lot of interesting discussions when we talk about commercial payers paying for hospice. Now we're getting more into the space of things like value-based care, right? And commercial payers potentially wanting more data that they can use to optimize costs when they pay out these providers. So I think it's going to be interesting. I do think as we move more towards that world, a big thing that will be requested of hospice is sending more data to payers, sending more data to the government, leveraging data to, again, in hospice, we don't talk about optimizing outcomes, but definitely talk about optimizing cost, optimizing length of stay on hospice. So I think that emphasis, like everywhere in healthcare, will be on getting more data around how to optimize care and optimize the financial side of, of healthcare. So in terms of how we're preparing, we've already built a data warehouse on top of our legacy EMR and some of our other systems. So we can be set up for the future just to have access to the data. And then I think like every organization, we're really going to be focusing in the next year on how to leverage that data to produce insights, again, to optimize productivity, optimize length of stay, optimize expenses associated with the patient. So I think in the post-acute space, that will become more and more important as the regulations potentially change in the future.